corrupt lobbyist Jack Abramoff began his prison sentence last week. But if you think that means members of Congress have put corruption behind them, think again. I'm Newt Gingrich. More in a moment. I've been talking all week about the four C's, competence, candor, corruption, and consultants. They are the four reasons Republicans lost in the midterm elections. Today, we will focus on corruption. Remember the Jack Abramoff scandal? People were convicted, hearings were held, and Congress enacted so-called reforms. Case closed, right? Wrong. Abramoff was just a symptom of a larger corruption in Congress. I don't mean the kind of corruption that lands you in jail. I'm talking about the moral corruption of members of Congress abusing the taxpayers' money, our money, to get themselves reelected. Because that's what the out-of-control spending and pork barrel projects in Congress really are, an incumbency protection racket. It's not illegal, but it's wrong, and the American people know it. It's one of the main reasons they voted for change this November. In 1994, in the opening words of the contract with America, we promised to, quote, restore accountability to Congress, to end its cycle of scandal and disgrace, to make us all proud again of the way free people govern themselves. What a difference 12 years makes. Isn't it time to be proud again? Isn't it time to reform Congress again? I'm Newt Gingrich, and together we can win the future.